The GPS Method for Citizenship Many applicants study for the civics test for hours and hours, but after a few days they don't remember most of the answers. These applicants feel as if they will never be able to memorize the answers. In this video, I will show you a method that will help you easily remember all the answers to the civics test. I call this method the GPS method for citizenship. This method works like a GPS because you don't just study questions at random. Each question you study will guide you to the next question, like a GPS guides you on the road. Why does this method work? The method works because your brain easily makes the connections between the questions you are studying. This helps you understand the concepts and easily remember the answers for a long time. At the end of this video, I will ask you one question and I am sure that the majority of people watching this video will give the correct answer because the GPS method helped them memorize the answer. Okay, let's start. The United States has always represented a country of freedom to many immigrants who came here. That is one of the reasons why France gave the Statue of Liberty to the United States. The Statue of Liberty is located in the New York Harbor. This is question 95. The Statue of Liberty is in New York Harbor. When answering this question, don't just say New York, but say New York Harbor. Note, you don't have to memorize the question number. The reason why I'm saying the question number is so that you can easily find the questions on the official USCIS list. If you want a list of all the questions we will study in this video, just click on the link in the description box below this video. People who lived in territories that were controlled by Great Britain were called colonists. One of the main reasons why colonists came to America was because they did not have freedom in their own country. This is question 58. Colonists came to America for freedom. If you like the GPS method, please let us know by clicking the like button of this video. That way, we will make sure to post more lessons like this one to help you pass your citizenship test. If you are new to our channel, Please consider subscribing so that you will always be notified when we post a new lesson. Thank you! Colonists lived under the laws of Great Britain. Most colonists felt that those laws were not fair to them. For example, the colonists were angry that their taxes were very high and nobody represented them in the British government. They decided to fight the British. This is question 61. The colonists fought the British because of high taxes, taxation without representation. The colonists won the war against Great Britain and announced their independence by signing a document called the Declaration of Independence. This is question 8. The Declaration of Independence said that the United States is free from Great Britain. The Declaration of Independence was adopted on July 4, 1776. This is question 63. On July 4, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was signed. At the end of this video, I have posted a link to other videos on the GPS method, so make sure to watch until the end. Every 4th of July, the United States celebrates its independence. The 4th of July is called Independence Day. This is question 99. The United States celebrates Independence Day on the 4th of July. The 4th of July is Independence Day. Important note. The Declaration of Independence was adopted on July 4th, 1776, and Independence Day is celebrated every year on the 4th of July. The person who wrote the Declaration of Independence was a man named Thomas Jefferson. This is question 62. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. 
Jefferson wanted all citizens to have basic rights, such as the right to life and the right to liberty. So he made sure to write those rights in the Declaration of Independence. This is question nine. Two rights in the Declaration of Independence are life, liberty. Even after declaring their independence from Great Britain, the United States still had many problems in its society to solve. The way in which the states in the north of the country operated was very different from how the states in the south functioned. These differences became so big that a war began between the northern states and the southern states of the United States. This war is called the Civil War. This is question 73. The war between the northern and the southern states is called the Civil War. The Civil War was one of the wars fought by the United States during the 1800s. This is question 72. One war fought by the United States during the 1800s is the Civil War. You may be asking yourself the following question. Why did Americans fight among themselves? You will understand the reason for this war in a few minutes. People from Africa were arrested, brought to America by force, and sold as slaves. This is question 60. Africans were taken to America and sold as slaves. Slavery was allowed in America for hundreds of years, but by the time that Abraham Lincoln became president of the United States, many people in the northern states wanted to end slavery. However, people from the south of the United States did not want slavery to end because their economy depended on it. States in the south decided to separate from the United States and create their own country. The North and the South began fighting in the Civil War. This is question 74. One of the reasons why the Civil War started was slavery. President Abraham Lincoln signed an important document to free all slaves in the southern states. That document is called Emancipation Proclamation. This is question 76. The Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves in most states of the South. The North ended up winning the war, and the United States did not split into two countries. That's why we say that Abraham Lincoln saved the Union. The Union here means the United States. This is question 75. One important thing that President Lincoln did was that he saved or preserved the Union. Even after the slaves were declared free, African Americans in this country did not have the same rights as white citizens. African Americans started a movement to fight for their rights. They wanted all citizens to be treated equally regardless of their race. So they organized marches, protests, and activities to end racial discrimination. This movement was called the Civil Rights Movement. This is question 84. A movement that tried to end racial discrimination is the Civil Rights Movement. One of the leaders of the Civil Rights Movement was a man named Martin Luther King Jr. He wanted all Americans to have the same rights. This is question 85. Martin Luther King Jr. worked for equality for all Americans. Martin Luther King Jr. wanted all Americans to be equal under the law. Every year, the United States celebrates Martin Luther King Jr. Day, which is a national U.S. holiday. This is question 100. There are 10 national U.S. holidays. You must remember two of them for your civics test. The national U.S. holidays are New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, President's Day, Memorial Day, 
Independence Day, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas. As I said, you only need to name two U.S. holidays for your citizenship interview. So now choose the two holidays you want to memorize. As a superpower in the world for a very long time, the United States has fought in many wars. For example, during the 1900s, the United States fought in five wars. This is question 78. One war that the United States fought in the 1900s was World War I. The president of the United States during World War I was Woodrow Wilson. This is question 79. Woodrow Wilson was the president during World War I. The United States also fought in World War II. They fought against three countries, Japan, Germany, and Italy. This is question 81. During World War II, the United States fought against Japan, Germany, and Italy. General Eisenhower was the leader of the United States Army during World War II. Eight years after the war ended, Eisenhower became President of the United States. This is question 82. Before he became President, Eisenhower was a general in World War II. During World War II, the President of the United States was Franklin Roosevelt. When he was President, he worked very hard to improve the economy of the United States. At that time, the economy was very weak and many people did not have jobs. That time was called the Great Depression. This is question 80. Franklin Roosevelt was president during the Great Depression and World War II. After World War II, the United States and the Soviet Union were enemies in a war called the Cold War. It was called the Cold War because that war was different from other wars. The United States and the Soviet Union didn't use weapons to fight directly. Each country wanted to become the only superpower in the world. The Soviet Union was a communist country. In a communist country, most of the land belongs to the government. This is question 83. During the Cold War, the main thing that the United States was worried about was communism. Now, I want to make sure that you followed this lesson. Answer the question. Name two national U.S. holidays. Write your answer in the comments section below this video. Thank you.